critical Bitcoin market update. Don't be shaken out. My name is Mike Mads. Let's start this video. I need you to subscribe to my channel. It's very important and it's actually for free. Please like, comment below and check out my links in the description. Okay, let's jump straight into Bitcoin. If we look at the price and the volatility and what is happening in the space, it seems like a dead end. Not a lot of things are happening and even the price is stabilizing and it's just moving sideways and it is boring the most people out, okay? If you look at this historic data here, if you believe in seasonality, you can see that September historically is a bad month for crypto. And now that we're in October, usually October yields a positive gain for Bitcoin. So if history is any indication, this should be at least a somewhat positive month. Doesn't mean that the bull market is back, of course. Okay, adding another very bullish thing for Bitcoin, is the total hash rate. We're currently at an all-time high, even in this energy crisis we're in. So clearly it shows the immense strength of this network. And you can see that the China hash rate migration, the clear dip is forgotten and we are new at new all-time high. So you cannot ban mining. Miners just find new locations and find the cheapest electricity possible and just continue on mining. Okay, so with the hash rate, huge, huge sign how strong this network is, even in these crazy times where energy prices are through the roof. That being said, even if October and the next month are not gonna yield a positive return, there is one single thing you should be focusing on and that should be the only thing you should be focusing on because clearly in the background, which we will cover uh, shortly, things are happening and signs are showing up that new money is actually finally giving up, okay? And for you, the most important thing is should be to survive the market and to not to get washed out. Okay, because usually if history is any indication, people who stick around in bear markets will yield the most benefits in the next bull market. So it's not easy. No one said it's easy. It's the market gives and takes. So it's just the cyclical nature of this asset and the cyclical nature of any market. And currently we're just in a brutal bear market and your main focus and main mission should be not to get washed out and not to be uh, selling your rare, limited, scarce Bitcoin to big corporations, which I will show you which ones they Let's are. talk about what's happening in the background. Okay, with the help of on-chain data and with the help of address, Huge shout out to you, address from TradingView. If you look at the chart here, it's a spent output H bands. It's an on chain uh, analytic tool, and basically it's showing that holders who have entered the market 2021 with the price level above 30,000 are selling at a 50% loss. Okay, that's usually, of course, unfortunate for them. I hope you're not part of them. However, on the flip side, a small positive is that those type of capitulations happen only or usually in the later half of it, of the bear market. Okay, that being said, I hope a big takeaway for you in this video is not to be shaken out. Because of course, for every seller, there is a buyer. And usually at this time of the market cycle, the buyer is smart money. That's how it is, unfortunately. New dumb money buys at mania phases, smart money buys at those bearish times. And clearly in the background, things are moving in the right direction. Huge asset managers, like I said a couple of videos ago, are entering the market, even BlackRock, which actually said otherwise last year with the interview of Larry Fink. Okay, another huge story here is Nidic. Nidic is taking care of onboarding many institutions uh, to hold Bitcoin in their balance sheet. Nidic raised $800 million just to purchase Bitcoin. So clearly in the background, the fundamentals are stronger than ever new all-time high with the hash rate, you have institutions creeping back in, and you have a new block minted every 10 minutes like it's supposed to be. So don't be shaken out, very important lesson. Okay, coming to the end of the video. Not to be shaken out doesn't mean to ape all in with all your money at once. It just simply means if I would be at a 50% loss, it is too late to sell and I wouldn't be selling. Okay, I would be DCAing into the market, lowering my cost basis and I wouldn't just exit and forget about crypto until the next mania phase arrives, okay? So uh, that's the key message here. Of course, the bottom might even not be in yet, and we might still see lower lows. And this is why, again, I'm always having a cash position, 
but I'm deseeing small amounts into Bitcoin and other projects I believe in. Okay, but the most important thing, guys, as always on this channel, don't get ready.